I am back. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Sagan. And I want to know what's going on in YouTube land. Yes, I said YouTube land. Man, I don't get caught up in beefs. I'm not, like, fighting with anybody. I don't get involved in that mess. I don't care about thumbnails. I just don't care. I don't have time. Matter of fact, I'm not on my YouTube grind like I used to be. I used to put up a lot more videos, even though I've been bringing some to you guys. I haven't even been watching my favorite YouTubers. I've just been busy. I don't know about you guys, but it's grind time for me. I'm out there trying to make the most money. My son just graduated high school. I mean, I'm really focused on family and doing my thing. So I don't get caught up in that mess. But every now and then, I'll see something on Twitter or I'll get a tweet or someone to say something to me. And I'm like, look, I don't know. I don't care. Bad enough, they try to cause beef between, like, say, me and the black worm. Now, it's funny, I've never addressed this, but I get so many people saying, you're not the worm nation, you're not the number one camper. And you know what? It's almost like they're trying to put me on a fence to say something bad about the black worm. But the one thing I do say is the worm ain't me, baby. I don't care. The worm, hey, he's good at what he does. He's more of a trolling shotgun, shoot you in the corner type camper. I'm more of a serious, let's um, show you how to hold this area down, come and wreck people type camper. I just feel like we bring two different things to the table. So for me, Worm Nation and Camper Nation, we exist just fine. It's enough for everybody out there. Now check this video out. This video, I'm rushing. I'm not I'm not sitting still. Like I just hit him with a C4 sandwich. You know, I've been doing that lately in the last few videos. I don't know why. I always have just put up camping videos. But a lot of people have kind of been asking me about, you know, can you rush and can you do this? And I'm like, you guys got to remember, my channel is based on showing you the best camping spots. No doubt. That's what I've been doing. That's been my bread and butter. I was like, but when I actually play, this is how I play in most games. That's why I wanted to show them this footage. I usually don't make videos about this because, look, how am I going to bring you the best camping spots and I'm not camping? It doesn't make sense. But a lot of times when I go through the game, I'm really careful. I lurk. Now, I'm not a hitless rusher. I'm not one of these guys that just run out for no, any reason. Everything I do has a thought process. I could walk you through this video and tell you why I'm doing every single thing I do because everything I do is it's almost premeditated. I put thought into it. Look, I can hear somebody. Look, somebody just boost jumped under me. Look, he didn't see where did he go. He had to go around this way. Look at this. I'm using my head saying, there you go. Get laid down. That's just the way I play. Now, when I camp, it's to lay people down. And it's also to show you guys a spot. But I'm going to tell you right now, camping is a great way to improve your gameplay. A lot of you guys, when you first get the game, you want to run out there. Wait, here, let me tell you what I'm doing here. Look at the UAV. It just went over. Guys on C. Now he pushed forward. Now I'm going to go for C. I wanted to see if that guy was going to push a little forward. And look, my teammate did the same thing. I'm going to come around this corner. I'm going to look to the left. Wait for him. Look, my teammate took him out. Now I'm going to look this way. I'm going to guard his back. So most likely they're going to spawn this way. But look, somebody was shooting at us. And look, I got the flag and laid him down. But like I was saying, if you ever look at my stats, my number one used gun is the BMP. It's not an LMG. It's the BMP. How many VMP videos have I done? It's not that I can't rush. I rush quite fine, but for me, it's about doing something for the community. You know, for those that think I'm ruining the community by allowing people to have fun with the game, by showing them something they may not have thought of, you're a turd. Get out of here. And so, look, I'm definitely a score streak assassin. Ooh, look at this jackpot. Wait, wait, whoa, where you go? That's three. Get laid down. Ugh, where's this guy going? You really think you could hide in a bush? All oh, my teammate took him out. You know, so I'm a smart player. But I think when Infinite Warfare come out, I think I'm going to change my style a little bit. I think I'm going to do both. I think I'm going to do camping and rushing videos. I'm going to show you my Russian setups and why I rush that way. Just to expand the channel a little bit. You guys know I can camp and I don't put a lot of camping videos out there. But I want to get into the right setups for rushing. Because I don't necessarily use the quite quite the same setup for camping that I do for rushing. Look, there's a guy down there. Look, I'm trying to get with these beehives. Where is he at? Oh, look, where is he at? Whoa, he's right there. Why are the beehives not getting him? Maybe he got engineer on. But look, I got a C4. So I was like, he's shooting me in my back. Look, I'm putting um, beehives in the path I'm running. Look, now I got those wraps coming in. Now, look at this. I'm going flawless. And I'm moving. I'm not sitting in one spot. But I'll tell you one thing I'm doing. I'm playing smart. I'm looking at my teammates on the mini map. I'm looking at the spawns. Look at this. I'm not going to quite creep out there because he's going to be looking down this tunnel. Look. Oh, that was bad aim on my part. But you know what? Retreat. <laughs> look. Ooh, the wraps gave me a triple. The wraps. Ooh, another wrap. See, they're going in for me. I'm going to tell you. This game is about three things that makes you a better player. I'm not going to even say aim. I'm not going to even put aim and gun skill in that. Because you can have zero aim and zero gun skill and still be successful at this game. First thing you need to know is the map flow. Number one thing you need to know. The, the way the map flow and what angles people are going to come from. The number two thing you need to know is the spawn system. Once they die, where are they going to come from? Which angle? Where should you expect them to come from? To me, that's probably the two most important things. And the third one is your score streak setup. 
And a gang like this, look, I got the mothership. Some people have score streaks and they have no purpose. They out here using a dart and they don't even know how to fly the dart. That makes no sense. But look at this. I'm 25 and 0 in the first half. Now, I got to admit, when I first started playing this game, I put zero thought into this game. I didn't even gun skill. I didn't even know what any of that meant. Honestly, I didn't know what a camper was. I just naturally gravitated towards a camping style because for me, it makes sense. Slow the game down, kind of look at the angles and take the angles out. And that's what I did. But I've gotten better at it. And I'm sharing that with you guys. But look at this. I got the mothership in the first half. And no, I'm not camping. Some people may call this creeping, but I definitely don't call it headless rushing. You guys that want to run out there headless with no thought process, go for it. Now, I know I can give them my C4 and pick one more perk that would be better suited for a speed game. But you know what? The C4 is effective for me. The C4 is an alert. The C4 lays people down. See, now I'm going to go ahead and get my mothership. I just wanted to put that on B in case these turds tried to take B. I can lay them down. We're up 40 points. Right now, it looks like the Warriors playing the Cavs. It's too easy. <laughs> now, I'm going to go ahead and get this mothership. Now, I got all the way to the back of the map because they like to spawn right here. And sometimes when I'm right next to them, I'll kill myself with this mothership. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed this. I get into motherships a lot in this game. I remember my early days in COD. I was happy to get a UAV in a care package. But now, it's on a whole nother level. Now, I'm getting the highest score streaks on a regular basis. I don't go too many games without getting into the highest score streaks. This morning, I played five games. I probably got three or four motherships in five games. You know, and some people say, well, you're playing weak competition. Well, you know what? Noobs are part of the game. I like getting into noob lobbies. But, you know, I don't mind playing against good teams. The only thing is about good teams, we're usually going to lose. Doesn't mean I'm not going to get mine. I think I was playing on, um, oh, I should have showed you guys this gameplay. I was playing on that aquarium map. And them guys was rushing the flag so fast. And I was dropping so many kills, we started coming back. I had the wraps. I had the mothership up. Calling the mothership in actually lost the game for us. Because all my teammates jumped in. We actually were down like 20 points after being down like 80. Because I uh, started going ham on them. The score streaks were keeping them at bay. But once I called the mothership out and my teammates jumped in, they were able to triple cap us and they ended up winning the game out. I think I went like 78 and 3 or something. And of course, when we came out the lobby, the other team started talking about me. See, now this is where camping come in handy. I showed you guys this spot. It's a great spot to check on people and then keep it pushing. You know, so I kind of crept up there. Look, I was looking for a scavenger pack. No scavenger pack. I'm always looking in the right areas. Look, we're at 122 to 81. Look, I use my teammates a lot, too. I'll let the cheese go first. I'll let him go out, draw the gun. See how he's running backwards? That means someone's probably there. Look, ooh, C4, sandwich. So I'm letting the cheese go first. Because my teammate was retreating, it kind of had me a little worried. Look, let me put a C4 there. They got a dart out right now, too. I hope that dart doesn't take me out. Ooh, that guy put a C4 down, too. Look at him trying to steal my glory. You Jimmy Dean. How dare you put a C4 down? Look, he's like, wait, it's working for him. Why can't it work for me? And look, that's probably why I didn't get a C4 killer right there. He beat me to it. And watch this. See, when I creep up on this guy, I'm not going to go straight to A. I'm going to come around. His oh, look at this guy. Get laid down. Hit fire, son. And look, you come around. You spin. You look for him. And look. Oh, look. One, two. Oh, double bubble. Oh, no. Oh, God. I want not expect him to be right there on the spawn. Wait, wait. Be patient. Be patient. Mark a J. Get laid down. Oh, they got me in my back. I was about to get into my second mothership. But let's go ahead and call these raps in. I'll take that one L. That's not too bad. Look at this. And now I'm going to properly place my beehives. I got them over here, and then they like to spawn up here and run across here, so I want to get one right in there. And look, I can hear somebody. It's crazy. See, this is what a headset can do for you. No, I don't have awareness on. They may even be running dead silence, but see, I can hear him. Where's he at? Right there, you get laid down. Look, I still hear somebody else coming. You know what? Here, let me go ahead and put the C4 there. Somebody's coming behind me. Look, and watch this. Ooh, I didn't even have to hit him with the C4. You know why? Because the highs took him out. This is what I'm talking about, about knowing the game, knowing the right, even the headsets to use the right controller. What kind of control freaks you need to help improve your aim if you need them. To me, this is all the things that make you a well-rounded player. It's not all about being some 12-year-old fast-eyed, fast-twitch kid. And I'm not knocking 12-year-old 12, 12 fast-eyed, fast-twitch kids. I love when I have them on my team, but that's not what the game is all about. For some of us, we enjoy playing smarter. And look at this. I'm laying them down. I'm having no problems in this game. I'm having no problems rushing. The only time I get problems in this game, and I'll be 100% honest, is when I get against a good team. It could be three to six people, and it could be a difference maker. You get in with them, and they're rushing the spawns, and they're playing team ball. You come around the corner, you kill one, there's two more behind them. Yeah, it makes it difficult for anybody when you're playing random. But, you know, other than that, the game isn't like that most of the time. Most of the time I get in with randoms, I'm going against randoms. It's not a problem. We can lay people down. Look, I'm watching my teammates. They all push back to C, so you know they got to spawn over. Look, ooh, that's one. One nerd. No, I'm just playing. I'm not going to start that. Look, oh, two, three. Oh, get laid down. Here's the fourth guy. Look, ooh. 
only because I knew they were going to be in a spawn over it again. I came back with the little night night machine and laid them down. Look at this. We beat them 200 to 92. And no, I didn't camp. Tell me what you guys think about the idea of me putting out some Russian techniques a little more in the next Call of Duty. And just showing you guys my thought process to lay them down. It's up to you guys. It's, you're the community. You're the camper nation. I do all this for you. And look at that. I went 57 and 1. That's nasty. Man, these numbers I've been putting up, my boy Jimmy been putting up, my boy Phone T's been putting up, the rest of the Camper Nation been putting up. It's been nasty, you guys. People mad because when they get laid down, there's always a cap label behind it. All right, you guys, I'm out. Let's go.